Hello dear Ronins. Welcome to the second episode of Ghost of Tsushima with Running Hood. So it's about the sword jumping. So I start from the level one and with a simple form the stabbing Tsuki jumping sword technique and then a cut or a shibori and a noto. Really simple cut and then noto. And just from that I had like uh, many <coughs> information about the complexity of this jumping sword stab move that looks really simple but it is really complex on 8 centimeters of width of the omote and how it, there is many possibilities and you can be on the middle you can be on the side you can miss just missed it or you just can be perfectly on the middle of it like this and it's really different like uh is doing jin sakai in ghost of tsushima when he's jumping still from the level one but right on the middle of the omote is difficult especially when the omote is in vertical position from this position 45 degrees is more simpler and like with a gyaku jump stab move it's simpler too because you just can adapt easily um, to the um, Omote, but from the up vertical stab jump sword is really not so simple. So that was my first set experience with the Ikazuchi with a straight blade, and it's not so simple. With one hand on the jump sword is really more simple than with two hands. Because of the posture, when you arrive on the floor, even from this height, is really more complicated to be well stabilized because the mass and the volume of the omote is not so important to receive all the power and the mass that I give it to it. When it's getting higher, with a more important height, it's really complex. From level 2, level 3, and level 4, you have so much power that you just absorb by the floor and you just can't get up so easily. So it's doable from this height with the kick next like he's doing on this video but you just need more time because you are already absorbed by the floor by the power and your knees has to work so much with your legs to block your body to not getting down on your knees to the floor I used the Yokogiri because it was simpler and from level 3, wow you can see on my legs it's like super super hard squat the worst that I ever experienced on squat and like walking down like Jin Sakai cutting the rubber bands and then you can see on this one how I putting all my mass with all the power on the omote just to helping me to get up as he's doing with the kick on the kick video really difficult from level 4 it's really almost the same of course it's less important height but it was a really really difficult uh, I was really happy to to be able to do it one or two or a few times from the level 4 that's it for today we'll see on next episode the other aspect and complexity of this challenge and I hope you enjoyed this video see you soon on next episode on Running Hood.